Automated habit tracking? What's that? Well, I'm so glad you asked. I'm Kelly, your tech savvy business mentor, and today I'm showing you how I'm taking habit tracking to the next level with Trello. So stick around. Like many entrepreneurs, I recently read James Clear's best selling book, Atomic Habits, and I was so inspired by everything he says. My highlighter has not been that busy in years. <laughs> One concept that he talks about in the book is the fact that longer term habits can be harder to stick with as we're trying to build them because they lack what he calls instant satisfaction. Essentially, it takes too long for us to see the impact that, that, that our work towards that habit is having in our life or our business, depending on what that habit is. He suggested habit tracking so that on those hard days where um, it's, it's difficult to stay motivated to keep working towards that habit, we can literally see the progress we've made in black and white right in front of us. Well, this wasn't a totally new idea to me in concept. Um, I've always kind of struggled with habit tracking uh, or, or tracking activities in general, because to me, it's always been just adding one more thing to my to-do list, which is already overflowing, right? So while I might actually do the activity that I'm attempting to build into a habit, I don't always remember to go and track that I've done that activity. And so then having this uh, habit tracker to look back on, it just doesn't exist. When I was reading this chapter in the book, all of a sudden I got this spark of inspiration. What if I could automate habit tracking with Trello? And the fully automated Trello habit tracker was born. In this video, I'm showing you exactly how I created mine so that you can create your own as well. So let's get to it. I'm so excited to show you this fully automated habit tracker. I have tried habit tracking before, even before reading Atomic Habits, but it just was not very successful for me because I tend to, I don't know if I want to say get bored with or whatever, but I just tend to not track consistently. Even if I do the thing, I don't always track consistently. And so this concept of um, having that instant satisfaction that James is talking about kind of always eluded me, right? Um, but I do love the idea of seeing a, a calendar or something where all the days are marked off of all the things. And so I wanted to automate that in some way using what I'm already using. So again, habit stacking and habit tracking. I am drinking the Atomic Habits Kool-Aid big time on this one. Um, so let me show you how this works. So first off, you do need to have um, a board where you're tracking the actual activities of what you're doing. And um, if you've seen any of the other videos uh, on my channel before, um, you might have seen this board before. And this is where I track my kind of day to days, my daily recurrings for my business, um, daily, weekly, monthly. And, and in some cases it's somewhat personal, but also uh, business related. So, I want to show you um, first on this board what I had to add, and then I'll show you how it migrates over to the habit tracker itself. So first off, on these boards, I did add a couple of things. Um, I added some labels. So personal being uh, that this is something that's a personal thing, not necessarily a business thing. And um, daily, this is the frequency of when I do it. Um, and so you can see here, I've got labels that correspond with that across the board, right? So this is every two days. This is a Pinterest activity, daily Pinterest, every two days administrative, email marketing weekly, you get the picture, right? Um, and over here on the habit tracker, there are lists that correspond. So you've got email marketing, YouTube content, blogging, and social media, which obviously I have not started yet. Pinterest marketing, podcasting, sales calls, administrative, and personal. So those things correspond with these labels that are on, on the board where I'm actually tracking manually, right? So I get my notifications for these, and you can see I've left some of these things un marked as complete so that you can see the activity as it as it happens but looking into the automation and I'm going to show you the rules that I set up so 
when I have, for example, um, a card with the name Fresh Pin, and please keep in mind there are a few different ways you could do this. Um, so I could just do this a little bit more generically and let it be based on those labels specifically. Um, but I wanted to customize the title of the cards that show up on the habit tracker specifically with what that activity was because I do have, like for example, two different things that I do for Pinterest. So I wanted to be able to see easily on the calendar on the habit tracker board what the activity was that I did and it, whether or not that was something that I intended to do daily or every other day kind of thing. So I made it maybe slightly more complicated than it has to be, depending on what the tasks are, um, the habits that you are tracking. But um, so I based it on due date being marked complete, being done manually by myself in a card with a name containing so fresh pin or blog or checked for claimed gifts or five repins, right? Um, I'm still doing the, the same automation that I was already doing on the command center, which is to move the due date to tomorrow, mark the due date as incomplete. Um, and that is all that needs to happen on this board in order for it to reset itself to remind me tomorrow. But for the tracking purposes, then I added and create a new card with the title. And so this title will be the same for every single card that um, came from a fresh pin. So I created a fresh pin today. It's going to add it to the list Pinterest marketing on my other board habit tracker. And it's going to add the daily label and the Pinterest label. So that shows me that this is something I intended to do daily and reinforces that it's a Pinterest activity. That part may be not as necessary because it's already on a Pinterest list. And then I also added this set do now. So what this does for me is um, creates a card on the other board, automatically gives it a due date so that it will appear on a calendar. And I decided to do set the due date now as opposed to when the card was was due because I wanted to see when I actually completed the task, if I was actually completing the task close to when I intended to. And the reason that I added that is because for, for myself, you know, I have quite a lot going on in each individual day. And so I wanted to be able to see over time and is the time that I have set for the reminder for that task actually a realistic time for me to complete that task. And if I see myself not completing it often or completing it, but maybe at a completely different time of day, then maybe I need to move it in my schedule. So instead of the reminder popping up at me at 7 a.m., maybe it needs to pop up at me in the afternoon when I actually have time to do it, right? So I did that for myself. Um, and then when you come over to the habit tracker board, you do need to add an automation here but it's very simple and it's simply to mark the due date as complete. And I did that because I didn't want to see a bunch of uh, red dates like they were overdue. I wanted them to be completed and that's that's that satisfaction of the checking off the to-do list, right? So as soon as a new card is added to the board, because the only way a card is added to the board is through that automation, it marks the due date complete, okay? so. Let's see this in action. For example, let's go with our fresh pin of the day because that was one that uh, we were looking at the, the automation rule itself. So I have already done this. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it complete. Now it does have this little uh, notification bell. That's not going to just go away when I mark it complete because I haven't actually looked at the card. So I'm going to do that first to clear that notification bell. And let's go ahead and mark the due date complete. I could do this on my phone as well, so I do not have to be on the computer to do this. I'm going to check the due date box. You're going to see this do its normal thing, which is reset itself for tomorrow. And then we're going to come over to the habit tracker board, come down to the bottom. And you can see right here. So today is March 4th and I've got my March 4th created the card that says I created a fresh, fresh pin today added the labels, put the due date, and marked it complete. So let's do another one and I'll come over here faster so that you can see it actually um, appearing. 
So let's go ahead with the repins. I'm going to check that and then come over here and you'll see it get added. See? And it just got added right there. And then the other thing that I put onto this habit tracker board, um, because looking at this this way, you know, it doesn't really make it clear. It doesn't really uh, satisfy that instant satisfaction of, of seeing the progress towards the goal or seeing myself cast a vote for the person that I want to be, to use James's words uh, to quote him. Um, so what I did was added uh, the free calendar power up so that I can actually see it on a calendar and see these all checked off. And so not only do they show up here as um, the things that that were done, but they're, you know, have the strike through because they're already marked complete. And I can see that these are daily activities and look, they're showing up daily because I'm actually doing them. I don't do them on Sundays. Um, but you can see them actually showing up daily because that's when I'm supposed to do them. So if you want to set up your own automated habit tracker and you need maybe a little bit of help setting up your specific automation or um, understanding the right triggers or, or things like that, hit me up in the comments. I'm happy to talk you through and help you figure out for your specific Trello setup as well as the specific habits that you are tracking how you need to write that automation. And if you liked this video, make sure that you hit that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel so you can always be aware when I release more video content like this. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated or overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy.